Through a combination of pollution, habitat loss, and hybridization, greenback cutthroat saw a huge decline in population in the 1800s. The species, which was declared extinct in 1937, was rediscovered in one four-mile stretch of a stream known as Bear Creek. This small population of pure native greenback cutthroat was the last in the United States. In 2006, the creek was shut down to fishing as the Colorado Parks and Wildlife attempted to bring the species back to its native range. After over a decade of rehabilitation efforts, the greenback cutthroat can be caught in various locations in Colorado. And we were able to find one of those locations. Welcome to another very special episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Um, today is day one, or our first attempt at catching a cutthroat. I've never personally cut a cutthroat, Andrew's never cut a cutthroat. And we're walking up this tiny little creek and there's lakes up here and basically the goal is to catch some greenback cutthroat. I believe the greenback. We'll confirm that if we ever catch any but we're gonna start hiking up. Andrew already just caught the first rainbow and literally the first hole that we stopped at so whoo yeah I'm out of breath because there's no air up here. What about how do, how do you feel about this Dallas? We're high. Keep going. We are high in the mountains boys. All right let's go. I traveled. <laughs> you traveled uh, 2,000 miles for that, or 1,500 miles for that. I traveled 2,000. Stop it! I literally just want to get a shot of you. Traveled a million billion miles, walked miles up, miles up into a <laughs> up into high altitude, 12,000 feet, and I catch a native greenback cutthroat. That's what I'm after. The size of my middle finger. That's cool though. I'm gonna release him back where he came from. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. go back up that way, buddy. There you go. It's running. There you go. You want to the fly? Oh, yeah, I took a yellow so Sally. There we go. Get it close to the Look at the colors on it. this yellow sally right here and uh, this time of year in Colorado uh, yellow sallies green drakes uh, around size like 16 to 18 high country you can use something a little smaller this is a uh, size 18 and they're just really keyed in on it right now um, can't go wrong with a black gnat in these lakes or anything small and low profile just gotta wait for a cruiser to come by and get the right fish Got one. Got one. Yeah. 
Finally. I was messing around with these two fish for ages. <laughs> it's a pretty fish. Doing just a little bit of pressure each time. Yep. Oh yeah, there we go. There's two of them right here just messing around. He took a size 22. Look at, something. His, look at his fins. Yeah. Look at his fins in the back. Yeah, dude. Damn. Yes. That's what I, this is literally why I came here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tiny little dry. I tied on the tiniest dry I had, size 22. Little, Nat? yeah, a little gnat looking parachute Adams type thing. This is the first, my first brookie out of the lake and a brookie. Oh, That's what I'm used to. First cutthroat out of the lake, native cutthroat out of this lake. Greenback. Greenback too. So the actual native cutthroat, or the state fish of Colorado, state isn't it? Fish, yep. Oh, he's gorgeous. <clears throat> well, there you go. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that too. There's... I'm just so happy I caught one, I honestly don't care. Like, you don't even understand. I've been messing around with this fish for like... 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. I tried on a little yellow parachute Adams, didn't hit. Um, he refused it like three times, and then finally I tied on the, something even smaller, and it came up and just sucked it. And I actually hooked it instead of just like waiting for it for some reason. <laughs> he'll, he'll give you plenty of chances. He'll cruise all around here. I lost it. Where'd he go? He'll come back. Just be patient. It's a nice fish. Your the problem is your fly line hit like right near it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's red. It's so red. It is a good one. Popped off. Oh, dude, it's it's it's, it's, it's like yellow on its fin. They get close up on that. Oh, it's it's unbelievable. This one here. Yeah, just oh my gosh, dude. You can get close if you want. You can go real quick. Yeah. Yo, this fish is on another level. Yeah, I'm gonna get a fish out, I'm gonna hold it up. I've seen some sick ones, in here. This one's prettier than mine for it sure. It's a nice fish it. too. Look at the bottom, turn it up so you can see his belly a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Hey guys, this is my first cut there that's not two inches long. Yeah. I guess this is, I guess this is the first cut there. Uh, it's tinier than anything. Let me get him back in. I mean, they're tiny. I don't know, there's gotta be bigger ones than that. <laughs> but here it is. I don't know how to close you are, but I'm gonna have to get closer. <laughs> no way I'm holding this thing up. What did it take, Andrew? Oh, well, never mind. Did you take the emerger or the dry? No, the emerger. I didn't even too, feel it. Too early. I didn't even feel it. You, you said too like, early? Yeah, he hadn't closed his mouth yet. They Wait closed their that. mouths real slow. That was so cool. Missed him twice. Oh, falling. Yeah, you're good. It's not. He's not coming off. Man, that was awesome. He's just sitting there. There we go. Pretty belly. Yes. Let's go, man. Here I'll lay this rod right here. Up. Look at that. It's just amazing. Ooh, wee. Awesome fish. 
All right, guys, so this is greenback cutthroat, native greenback cutthroat number two. Last one I couldn't even talk because I was like so excited that I finally caught one. But we're just sight casting these trout. They're literally sitting like a foot or two off the bank and they're hitting little size 22 parachute atoms. That's, at least that's what I'm throwing. I think Matt's throwing like a yellow Sally. 18. 18, size 18 yellow Sally. So I'll go ahead and get the release on this guy. I don't want to hold him in the net for too long. But. So cool. I thought he was eating the other fly that was sitting on the water. He's colorful too. Wow, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Give him one second. This one's actually fighting for some reason. Dude, that fat one I caught took a bunch of it. Yeah. Alright, you should go get him now. Yup! Yes! That was such a Look sick hit too, yeah, man. That was, awesome. that was so he, sick. He hit it with a fury. Yeah, he like waited, 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 Ooh. waited, and then, oh my gosh, that is just. That's the end of the sun, yeah. yeah. Like, I didn't know which one was which. I didn't. So you have a good night to have. All right, guys, so we just sight casted this fish. I wasn't recording, Dallas was. He sat next to the rock, sent my dry fly in there, and the fish just slowly looked at it and came up and just sipped it, and I'm literally in heaven right now. Like, this is like literally my dream, but I'm gonna hold this fish up, hopefully, and show it to you guys. I've literally accomplished my dreams and aspirations. Andrew has accomplished his dreams. Dallas is accomplishing his dream as a cameraman. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you guys this avalanche right here. If you look at all the trees are literally, um, they're snapped off like midway through, which is super cool. So this is where we're gonna turn around at this avalanche. But I just wanna show you guys this and kind of have like a, a midpoint to this video because I feel like it's gonna be two parts because we've literally caught so many fish and we still have to go back down. So we're gonna keep going down. By the way, huge shouts out to Matt. Um, his Instagram handle is Freaked on the Fly. I will leave it in the um, description below. Huge shout out to him. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't be catching these fish because as I said, this whole trip is DIY. I don't know anything about these fish. I don't know where to find them. So huge shout out to him for showing us around. We've got today and we're gonna do one more day of this too. So stay tuned for a bunch more cutthroat action. It should just get better which is kind of hard to believe. But anyway, thank you guys for watching so far. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Heck yeah, look at this fish. That'll be a sweet shot with the get a slow fly in his mouth. I gotta get a pick on my phone of this guy.